It may have been a few years since we last donned our speed boots in the Anti-Gravity Racing League, but that doesn't mean anything now that Wipeout Omega Collection is upon us, bringing an up and improved version from the Vita, Wipeout 2048 and the PS3's Wipeout HD and HD Fury tracks and ships and lots of extra benefits packed into this one single package which you can pick up for around £25 or $30 and it even comes with a retro case but us Europeans over here, a slight recompense for having to wait slightly longer than our American cousins before donning our boots and racing in the leagues. This game is absolutely incredible at recapturing the speed, thrills, adrenaline and running at 60 frames per second. I'm going to get that right out of the way straight away. There is no issues with this game at all in terms of performance. It aims for 60 FPS and it hits 60 FPS without any issues at all. No dips, no tears, no stutters. Absolutely rock solid with high precision on both the clarity of image, the frame rates and the input times. I will be covering the game in far more detail and analysis with all previous versions and finishing up and wrapping off my Wipeout Retro Perspective which you may check out on my channel with part one. Part two is up again this weekend, covering the beginnings of this title, which was so influential in terms of gaming speed and artistic design that it warranted its own two-part video. But you can check all that out on my channel and also more on my website. In terms of the game here, what are we looking at? Well, on the PS4, we're looking at a fully native 1920 by 1080 image, backed up with a decent AA solution that helps keep the shimmer to a bare minimum. There's certainly signs on the 2048 title and even the PS3 to a lesser degree that this is an up port from a handheld version. Therefore, some of the assets, even though they've been improved heavily, the texture quality and isotropic filtering, the bloom, the lighting effects and the reflections are all of a much higher precision. It's still evident that the base came from a much lower target spec. But it doesn't affect the quality on offer here and it still looks absolutely gorgeous and controls and flows and moves as smooth and beautiful as you can see with the visual quality on screen. It's not dynamic resolution like it was on the PS3 original in Wipeout HD and Fury which are also contained in this one pack. This is a rock solid 1080p and an equally rock solid 60fps. But what about those pro players? What benefits are they going to see? is a fully native 4K if you choose to turn off the motion blur in the menu, which I don't, I prefer that to be on. You also get slightly better anti-aliasing, but if you leave the motion blur on, they use a checkerboard solution giving you the 2160 image on a 1080p display because down sampling is fully included here, so you are looking at a much crisper and cleaner display on the PS4 Pro, even if you only have a HD screen. It's certainly not a revolutionary change, I'm not seeing any huge visual standout benefits over and above the much higher resolution effectively four times the resolution of the base ps4 but it really stands out when you've got a 4k screen and a hdr display yes this title really sells hdr better than many others that i've seen now the simplicity of this is because the game has very sharp and high quality texture assets and hardly any post-processing over and above the motion blur which is definitely advantageous here and i love it because it makes the game even smoother and more cgi so i certainly prefer that to be on but the option in the menu if you don't like it flick it off and it's even sharper and you get an even clearer and crisper image 
and you also get the native 4K, if anyone can really tell the difference from a sitting seat on the TV. If you press your nose against the screen, then yes, you can see some of the artifacts, but it's very minor. And if you're sitting more than about four feet back, even on my 55 inch Samsung screen, it makes zero difference. Even my friends and family have been very impressed with the image quality here on a 4K display. So pro owners are very welcome and appreciated here, having much better image quality, even if you've only got a HD screen. Now, this doesn't mean that standard PS4 players are missing out totally. Obviously, you have got the HDR on that version as well. If you hook it up to a 4K screen, exactly the same one as I might have here, then you are still going to get the same strong pop of colours that comes from the large contrast in colour schemes, the light bloom, the light effects, and the strong texture quality throughout the title, but you just get a slightly blurrier image due to the fact that it's upscaled from 1080p rather than a native 4K. But the benefits are there. The game handles so well. It's just a joy to get back into this game and really relive the passion of these older titles in a fresh lick of paint that runs as smooth as you would hope for and looks as beautiful as you could have possibly imagined. They really have done a tremendous job in here in capturing the feel and the atmosphere and the control of the Wipeout series. Going back to the older titles, which I've recently played all the way through every track, every section for hours and hours, the difficulty is certainly a lower curve, no longer slapping you in the face. And the frame rate is obviously a vast leap over the 25 or even 17 FPS that you may have seen from my older coverage. But it is the real return to form and it feels so good and fluid to play. And the soundtrack, although not quite capturing the level that I wanted, there are other options that I'll cover in the full analysis. It certainly delivers a many tracks and with the headphones or the soundtrack or the sound system in the right place, it certainly gets you in the mood. But I will cover this much more in a fully detailed analysis of the game and how it compares across its original PS3 and Vita cousins. So please check out soon for my full technical analysis and head to head of the title and obviously part two of my Wipeout series. As it stands right now you can see the beauty on screen so if you are looking forward to diving back into some Cygnosis power beauty then even though the team and Studio Liverpool may no longer be around which is a sad state of affairs this is a fitting tribute to them sadly couldn't come from the original team but there are members in there that were involved with the original title this is a revelation and a classic game that really serves the purpose well and for 25 to 30 dollars this really is bargain basement price for top end enjoyment anyway as always if you guys and girls enjoyed this please hit the like and subscribe and maybe even think about supporting me on patreon now that i've launched my page you guys and girls take care race hard turn fast and get yourself in the zone. Liberate, don't hesitate, and let the beat control your body, 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 and let the beat control your body. And let the beat control your body.